Hello, well in this film I'm doing a bit of blacksmithing with my friends and also we meet the alpacas so more of that to follow. Have a look at this forge. It's one of my friends forge and it's very very simple. It's uh, an old pair of bellows, a bit of piping, the double acting bellows, so quite nice but quite small bellows actually and the, now can you guess what that is? It's actually the pressure vessel from a central heating boiler, kind of thing you get in a combination boiler. And you see the little black air nipple on top there. Some plumbing fittings. And the whole arrangement is mounted on a couple of axle stands. But look, it makes a great forge. And it burns really well. In fact, I made this little hold down for, for one of my clog knives. So it works really well. This is a little mini clog knife. You'll probably see more of this later on, but I'll be using that for making some wooden items in due course. And well, it was an interesting place we were at. Lots of animals everywhere. And a bit more blacksmithing here with some more spoon making hooks here, which have been forged up on the forges. So jolly good fun. And we're getting quite good at making these actually, getting nice curvatures and getting tools that work very well. Nice ash handle on that one which is nice to hold. It's faceted quite well. And here's a bit of knife making, a railway anvil. And yeah, more to look around at, a wind turbine. And you'll see a bit more about water pumping before long. But let's go over to the alpaca. Back boys. <laughs> go we over to, go to the, the, <laughs> the mountain to Mohammed. Yeah. Hi yeah. right, boys. How are they? <laughs> Food. Let's put the effort in. Hello, Roger. That's Roger Packer. Roger the alpaca. Shall we who's who's top, top top packer? That's that's top packer is Roger. Roger, right. Packer packer's not the tallest. Interesting. And then Woody Woodpacker. He's a little bit nervous. Ah. Uh. And Fudgy over there won't come over to get his nails. Hello, Woody. <laughs> Great. Packer packer. Two I see. Not ready yet for another one. They've all got, they, I know they all look the same to you lot. But you you recognise each one yeah. distinctly, well, yes. You see this one's got a light, a light brown nose compared to this one. Yes, um, slightly different height, slightly and, fuzzier hair. Yeah. So I should say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah boys. Huh. Woody's a little bit smaller than the rest of them. He's got very, very hairy ears. Yes. The fudge packer's slightly browner. Well, yes, I'm not standing here all day holding this like you lot. Which one do you want? Do you want that one? They obviously like carrots, I'm not surprised. They prefer grapes. Do they? Yeah, do not so much chewing. Their teeth really do go forward, don't They've they? They've only got teeth at the bottom. Bottom the other only. Top is just a big lip or two sort of. Yeah, I don't know. Just like, look at the camera, can I eat the camera? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worth a go, isn't it? This is my other clock knife. And in fact, I'm not going to be going into clog making, just in case you're wondering, but um, a couple of other projects are in mind. And I'm making a little tie down hook for it here to actually hold the blade down when you use it. So it's a fairly simple little loop of metal and I'll put a screw thread on that rod so I can hold it down to a board or to a book workbench. And you'll probably get the idea here where I actually show the knife being hooked down. So that will hold it down ready for cutting. And I'm, I'm quite pleased to have got this one, actually. It's a French one. It's, I think its technical name is a par four knife. You, someone will probably correct me on that. But it's uh, very old, but hopefully will cut green wood very well. That'll be, that'll be fine. As well as the alpacas and the ducks, we had the chickens watching us. In fact, there was livestock everywhere. And how about this for a birdhouse? A little bit different and rather good fun. And actually very welcome for birds as well. Keep them in your garden. This was a very interesting example of grafting. And it's taking a standard apple tree and adding other apple varieties by grafting them on. And they were all labelled up. And actually taking quite well. So you could in theory end up with a tree with lots and lots of different apples on it. Which is quite interesting. The chickens have been nibbling some of these but most of them were surviving really well. I was a bit puzzled by one of the labels though, because I, I just didn't recognise the breed of apple. Well, variety of apple, I should say. <laughs> and too many animals there. Here we are, leeks, must have. Uh, <laughs> I grow those in my allotment. Yeah, quite interesting there. I think I might give that a go sometime. Ooh, 
much hot. Oh, gosh, it's heated up quick, isn't it? That yeah. One, isn't it? Yeah, bevel outside, isn't it? That's it. Lovely. Go on. Keep going. Keep him going. Well, I'm not sure that's about that's not bad. That is more. That's that a nice, good. gentle yeah, gradient. It. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll don't want hold it still a second, and I'll just catch. Yeah, that's brilliant. It'd be like those. Um, they do it on um, Gadget Show. You, I hold that, and you kind of. <laughs> Yeah. Do that kind yeah. of thing. You have to focus on the thing. I have to focus on the thing, very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we're going to quench that in a second. So a heat up to red and quench. That's a nice, I like that. It is a good curve, that thing. Yeah, it looks nice. So I did the last one, I just did it in the wood burner. I just opened the drawer of the wood burner. Yeah. So much. Yes, heat from heat the wood burn. That's, that's not bad, that's yeah, pretty lovely. nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's flamed. <laughs> and then in the water? Yeah, there'll be more mess in the water. That's it. Brill. Nice one. Pretty that colour ball. Yeah. That is a bit of metal tape, isn't it? It'll run very quickly when it runs, being thin, won't it? Yeah. It's starting to go. Yeah, yeah that blue it is. at the bottom. Yeah. In fact, it's run. Yeah, no, gone. It's gone. Top. Yeah. Plunge. Yeah, that's, look at that. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a little bit blued on the edge, but. That's about not bad at all. It's yeah. worth running with to see how it goes, and not uh, well, yeah. Yeah, Jay. If it snaps, we'll make another exactly. one. Exactly. I don't think it will. It'd be, it'd be, I reckon it'd just be a little bit on the harder side. Yeah. So that's another spoon maker's knife to add to the collection. I must say the spoon carving is becoming really very popular indeed. And it is it's great fun. It's nice and relaxing. It's quite deep, isn't it? It's uh, five and a half, six metres. Gosh. And does that give you water all year? Uh, yeah. It, it's only run dry once. Um, in the middle of September, just because we had a drought that year. Yeah. That's actually quite high, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So there's a, there's a pump, a submersible pump down the bottom yeah. of that. Um, that goes up that, that pipe. Goes up that pipe. And it goes uh, into those tanks. It's top tank. And it's got a float switch in there. So when the when the tank is half empty, the float switch automatically turns it on and fills the top Goodness. tank to the brim. Yeah. And then there's a cistern thing yep. in the bottom one, that hose pipe, basically keeps the bottom one full up as well. Gosh. So there's there's a minimum of 1,500 litres up there all the time. Cool. Um, it's quite impressive. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing our little blacksmithing session and all the sorts of things that we get up to. Always good fun and it's nice just having a general chat with friends and lots of cups of tea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.